Today, I have a bit of a funny story. This is called Dinosaur Dump. And despite how disgusting this book might be on certain pages, you need to wait till the last page to find out what really happened to the dinosaurs. This is by Tim Miller and Matt Stanton. In a tiny little valley in the prehistoric era, the dinos didn't have much, not a mall or a theater. It was a simple life, but they had a giant loo. It was way up on the hilltop and today it had a queue. Early every morning, Betty made her daily trip. She felt a sense of great relief as she sat down and let it rip. <laughs> Terry was a T-Rex and he ate a lot of tripe. But with his teeny weeny arms, he couldn't really wipe. The loo began to rumble when Harry went plop, plop. He thought it was his belly, but he couldn't make it stop. The day was getting hotter and Sally took her turn. She peered into the swirling bowl and hoped it wouldn't burn. The loo was getting smelly. Sally didn't flush, mm. but big old Brucey didn't mind. He just added his green mush. Things were really smoking now. Dark clouds filled the air. As Dave bent and went to squat, he said a little prayer. After Vic's big gym session, and his high protein diet, he simply had to jump the queue, which nearly caused a riot. Daisy wore a gas mask to keep out the growing stench, but the smell got her anyway, and she tried hard not to retch. Tash the pterodactyl dive bombed the mountain loo. The splashback was tremendous. There was nothing she could do. When little Mike headed up and sat upon the ledge, his itty bitty baby poop caused the most distress. The toilet began to rumble. The valley began to shake. The dinosaurs were terrified. Their world was about to break. Mike raced down the mountainside, stinky lava at his heels. It was disgusting, hot and smelly and looked vaguely like their meals. Do you see vegetables in there? Mm. So the next time someone asks you, where did the dinos go? You can tell them that the story is grosser than they know. <laughs> the end. <laughs>